Good day everyone, my name is Dave Partner. In the past tutorial, we were able to log in a user. We were able to log out a user. In this tutorial, we will try to put the name of the login user, logged in user right here. And uh, how we will do it is uh, simple. There are many ways to do that in Cake PHP. But first of all, let me just remind you that the, the logged in user is accessible through this auth. Let us look at the login controller, login action. We were here we were able to check if the user is logged in by just checking if this value exists we're just saying if there is an id in this value then the user is logged in because if the user is not logged in there won't be an id here but um checking it in your in your uh your view is a little more um different a little bit different right here remember that when we logged in a user if we checked if the user can be logged in if the user exists and is logged in we set this guy we set the whole user details into session all right so now we're going to um, access this user via the session so right here in the default remember i manually typed this we are going to try and first of all check if the user is logged in if the user is logged in then we can display the user's details in the login so right here i'm going to check if the user is logged in i'm going to say if um we're going to check the session so we're going to say if this request session and um, read and uh, we're looking for auth user and uh, maybe probably id or something any, any value that is in the in the field of the among the fields in the users field in the database uh, we can just check if it exists in the session if it exists in the session that means the user is logged in so if the user is logged in we can display logout button we can display the user's name so we can display these two guys if the user is logged in all right so only logged in users can see the logout button and of course only logged in users can see the name of the current logged in uh, user now this is this how do we now display the name of the user what we can do is to say um right here we're just going to um php and like that we can just do an echo we can just echo whatever we have inside here php echo and um, we're going to just we don't have a user name in our database and we don't have first name middle name last name so i'm just going to echo something we have which is email at least we have the user email now uh, this is very long there's a way we can shorten this but let's just be sure that this works so if we get back to our code and uh what we do is a refresh we reload and uh, we're expecting the user name to be user email to be here as you can see it works perfectly because the user is logged in and uh if we log out we'll see that there will be nothing right here as you can see it has disappeared because we actually in our code we isolated everything only to logged in users so that's how to check whether a user is logged in but uh this is very long and cumbersome is this what you have to do every time you want to uh echo anything in the users any of the users details what we can do is to go to our controller our app controller remember that app controller is the root controller so we go to our app controller and uh, we make sure that um, we can just check if the user is logged in or we, we without checking we can just set we can just say this you know um this this is a way you can set a, var a variable send a variable to the view in cake php from your controller to the view if you want to send a variable to the view this is how to do it you just use set then we're going to call the variable anything we want so for me i want to you call it um i can just say l auth user or whatever i'll just call it auth okay if i can just say auth and then i'll save everything in the auth into the session so here here i'm just going to say everything here cool so i'm sending everything to the view i'm just saying everything you have saved in auth session send it to the view as auth so what we'll do in the view right here remember it's in our default.ctp what we're going to do in the view is instead of checking for this long stuff we're just going to delete everything and check if auth exists if the variable auth exists and then we're going to um for all these other guys we're just going to say um everything here 
we're just looking for auth um, whether we just want to echo auth um, user and uh, we're going to echo the user's email and um, this is supposed to do the magic we want the exact same magic we wanted so we're going to refresh of course uh, we have to log in I'm going to log in as you can see it still works nothing displayed I'm going to log in as Trump Hillary Trump Hillary and I'm going to use a password of um, password if you remember clearly and we're going to hit the submit button and um, we're waiting for it to log as we're logged in as you can see it works perfectly so this is how to shorten it so anywhere in any view page at all if you want to check or retrieve the user's login details of uh, the full fields because what you have saved in the auth is the full fields in the user's table so if you want to check for it you just use auth because you defined it in your app controller this your app controller before render is what happens before the view of your app renders so before filter is like more of like what happens before your controller renders so you have to put it in before filter and it's in your app controller now uh, one more thing we could do there are many uh, options you can set here for instance uh, when the user is logged out in our app when the user logs out it goes by default it returns by default to the login page what if you don't want it to return to login page what if you want it to return to some home page uh, that is not login page this is where you will set it up you, you just say um, comma action so you just put a comma and say log out redirect so this tells cake php where to uh, redirect if the user is logged out so you're just going to put this log bracelet and uh, inside here you're just going to say the controller to to redirect to when logged out is um, users controller if you have other controllers that you want to specify you can do that and you can say the action to redirect to when logged out is as simple as any action so for me um, I'm just going to put the login action but if you had any other action you wanted in any other controller this is exactly how to do that and not forget your final comma so this is how you tell cake php where things should redirect to after logout all right um if you now we have this sorted out um we can start going deeper into other things that we can achieve with cake php as we move along and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to my channel on youtube if you've not done that up up till this moment that is exactly what you should do right now so you hit your browser and um, visit youtube.com then you're going to put a slash then you're going to put a c then you type brain temorg org and hit enter you'll see a whole lot of video tutorials a cache of video tutorials that you can also watch or understand and that's the best place to contact me if you need to contact me then when you when it opens hit on the subscribe button and get on with your full video tutorials thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video